The impactor is now less than 10,000 kilometres from Comet Temple 1. Minus 1.1. Flying by its own navigation Minus system, it's about to have its last chance to fire thrusters and change course. If it doesn't keep Temple 1 dead in its crosshairs, nothing can stop it from missing the target. There is one precedent for deep impact emission. In the 1998 movie of the same name, a comet is discovered on a collision course with the Earth. Oh, hello there, little fella. I went to Hollywood to meet astronomer Phil Plate and found out that this scenario is not so far-fetched. So, Phil, Deep Impact is a, a movie that should scare people if it's accurate, right? How accurate is it? In general, not bad. The comet we discovered is the size of New York City. That's about the size of Temple One, which is what Deep Impact is going to hit. Put another way, this comet is larger than Mount Everest. How would you deflect a comet in this situation? There are a lot of ways of moving objects in space, and one of them would be to blow up a, a, a hydrogen bomb on the side of it, and then what you hope is it'll blow off material and it'll push it hmm. in the other direction. Three, two, one, now. What they ended up doing, of course, was splitting it into two pieces that were still coming right. towards the Earth. Right. And so we need to learn more about these things to see how it is that if we ever find a comet heading towards us, how are we going to push this thing out of the way? Yeah, and the other spectacular bit that I like a lot is when the sunrise comes over the lip of the comet and you get these huge explosions, which actually blows one of the astronauts off into space. Right. Is that how violent the comet's surface actually is? I don't think so. Uh, that was one of those parts of the movie that was a little bit more dramatic than necessary. The jets don't just start up like that. They just go boom, boom, boom as, as the sun, sunlight rises is uh, yeah. sweeping across the comet. Although we've seen three, three or so right, with Temple One in the last few days. This is really not like a huge geyser erupting from the surface. It's, it's more of a gentle wind. It's moving quickly, but it's not like it's as dense as a water spout. It's mm. just gas coming off. You know, it seems to most people a little bit far-fetched, I suppose. I mean, Deep Impact is just an action science fiction film. But I suppose at the end of the day, it really is one of the most plausible ways that the world could end. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And as one science fiction author likes to say, the reason the dinosaurs are extinct is because they didn't have a space program. You know, we are smart, we've got these big brains, and we can build rockets, and we can go out into space. So in Deep Impact, the movie, they blew up the comet but failed to stop it. Does Phil think that Deep Impact, the mission, will have a happier ending? I don't think they're going to blow the comet up, but I think whatever is going to happen, it's going to be exciting. And I'm going to be at the eyepiece of a telescope the moment it happens, watching with my own eyes. I'm very excited about this. So NASA are giving the mission a sprinkling of Hollywood stardust. 